Meet Colossus, a supercomputer so big, it's practically alive. Fueled by over 100,000 NVIDIA H100S, and soon scaling to 1 million. But the real story isn't just building the supercomputer. It's how we plan to power it. Because building a digital god comes with one monstrous problem. Energy, and that's where nuclear power steps in. Elon Musk's startup, XAI, stunned the world by turning an abandoned Electrolux factory in Memphis, Tennessee, into a 500,000 square foot AI temple in just 122 days. They call it Colossus, and for good reason. Over 200,000 NVIDIA H100 GPUs already installed. They aim for 1 million GPUs by end of 2025. Their estimated power use is 250 megawatts ultimately, and that's enough to light up every home in Cincinnati. This isn't your average machine. We're talking about a staggering 200,000 NVIDIA GPU chips, the very brains of modern AI, all interconnected by a lightning-fast network of server racks. And to keep this digital leviathan from melting down, it's cooled by over 100,000 gallons of water. According to Grok itself, Colossus demands around 125 megawatts of continuous electricity. Here's something most people don't realize. AI isn't just about code and chips, it's about kilowatts. In fact, according to the International Energy Agency, data centers will triple their energy use by 2030, devouring over 945 terawatt hours per year, almost as much electricity as Japan consumes today. Some states are already buckling. In Arizona, AI data centers are expected to eat up 16.5% of the entire state's power by 2030. That's unsustainable without a serious upgrade. When you're powering AI gods, you need energy that's massive, clean, constant, and only nuclear energy checks all three boxes. For decades, nuclear energy has been a reliable, albeit sometimes controversial, source of electricity. But its unique capabilities are making it increasingly attractive to the tech world because nuclear power offers a consistent, reliable supply of massive amounts of energy from a remarkably small amount of fuel, all while producing zero harmful emissions during operation. Plus, a single nuclear reactor can generate one gigawatt energy, enough to run at least four colossal scale clusters. Moreover, nuclear energy has one of the lowest death rates per unit of energy produced. It's cleaner than coal, safer than oil, and more reliable than solar on a cloudy day. We're talking about around 0.04 deaths per terawatt hour, even when factoring in the entire life cycle, including those rare but highly dramatic incidents like Chernobyl and Fukushima. Tech giants like Google and Microsoft are already actively exploring nuclear power as the ultimate solution to fuel their ever-expanding AI operations. And this isn't just a passing interest. It's a strategic move to secure the massive energy resources needed to stay competitive in the AI arms race. Google, for instance, is partnering with Kairos Power to build small modular reactors. SMRs, capable of supplying 500 megawatts by 2030, designed specifically for data centers. Amazon and Microsoft are also investing in nuclear startups to guarantee energy for future AI workloads. So, the writing's on the wall. The next gold rush isn't just for GPUs, it's for uranium. And this isn't some 10-year dream. SMRs are already under construction, and Colossus might be fully loaded before your next iPhone drops. Now, here's where Elon Musk plays 4D chess. To manage power surges and outages, Tesla's Megapacks are being deployed alongside these supercomputers. These massive battery systems are designed to smooth out fluctuations in power delivery. Each Megapack can store up to 3.9 megawatt hours of energy and deliver it instantly when needed. Just think of it as a shock absorber for AI's power grid. Now combine that with nuclear power as the backbone, and you've got a system that's practically bulletproof. This convergence of nuclear power and AI isn't just about faster processing speeds. It's about building a robust infrastructure capable of supporting a true technological renaissance, fueling breakthroughs that will redefine industries and fundamentally transform our daily lives. But it's not just tech giants in this race. The U.S. Department of Energy is deploying El Capitan, the world's fastest supercomputer, at Lawrence Livermore National Lab. Clocking in at a jaw-dropping 1.7 exaflops, that's quintillions of operations per second, it consumes around 30 megawatts of power. The mission is to simulate nuclear weapons without actually detonating them. And that's science, security, and speed, all rolled into one. Let's get to the scary part now. 
We might be entering an era where power isn't just about speed. It's about how much energy a company can command. Meta, Amazon, Google, Microsoft, Nvidia, any tech giant that wants to remain competitive will likely need their own colossus, if not multiple. But the US grid, especially in places like California, is already strained. You can't just plug in power-hungry machines without risking collapse. Brock estimates the grid can only handle a 20 to 25% rise before failure leading to system-wide blackouts. In other words, we're building machines that think faster than us, but they might shut down entire cities just by turning on. What will these supercomputers actually do? Personalized medicine in real time. Brain-computer interfaces that read your thoughts. Self-designing spacecraft for Mars missions. Real-time climate simulation to stop global warming. Protein folding and disease eradication in hours, not years. If we get it right, AI and nuclear power could usher in a golden age of prosperity, innovation, and maybe even immortality. If we get it wrong, well, let's not. If you liked the video, share and subscribe.